The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the Saab Labs Microsoft Active Directory module. Many organizations depend on Active Directory to validate users and compute resources on their networks. Proper integration with vRealize Automation is crucial for maintaining consistency with these resources. With the Saab Labs Microsoft Active Directory module, you will be able to place virtual machines in a build OU so that you can facilitate software deployments and configurations that require a less restrictive group policy. When the build is completed, your computer object will automatically be placed in a proper OU. In addition, we support many other options such as the dynamic creation or removal of OUs, adding computers to existing Active Directory security groups, and automatic registration or removal from a computer account in Active Directory. We can support multiple Microsoft endpoints and can handle simple to complex globally distributed multi-domain, multi-site Active Directory environments. Our Saab Labs Microsoft Active Directory module can also be used in conjunction with other Saab Labs Core Pack modules, such as our custom naming module and our DNS and IPAM modules. To use the Saab Labs Microsoft Active Directory module, you'll need to create a Microsoft endpoint and an Active Directory configuration in vRealize Automation. If you configure multiple Microsoft endpoints per Active Directory configuration, this will enable retry and failover logic between endpoints. Multiple Active Directory configurations may be necessary to handle separate Active Directory forests or domains where the same service account or domain controller does not have rights between the separate domains or forests or the domains or forests are not trusted. This is an example of the necessary Active Directory endpoint. The three items of note here are a defined build OU, the OU where the computer object will live once provisioning is complete, and the security group you want the computer object to ultimately be a member of. Here you can see we've told vRealize Automation to utilize a build OU, and the build OU is denoted by OU equal build. The post provisioning OU is denoted by a Saab Labs template engine definition. Here you can see we're dynamically creating an OU to place our server in when it's finished provisioning. This definition can be based off any vRealize Automation property that we've made available to the blueprint, or inherited further upstream such as in the compute resource or the business group. Finally, you can see the security group I'm placing the object in is defined as test group. Now, let's access a Windows Blueprint to demonstrate the last configuration option. Utilizing the Saab Labs Microsoft Active Directory module requires a Saab Labs AD property group, as seen here. A property group is automatically generated when a Saab Labs Active Directory configuration is created, allowing for easy association to a blueprint. A moment ago, I mentioned that we were able to dynamically create OUs and I showed you a bit of the Saab Labs template engine code we used to do that in the OU definition. These options I referenced in that OU are selectable via a dropdown here in our service catalog item. These are properties we defined in the property dictionary. We have a team ID that's either development, production, or QA. We're going to select development. Then we have an org ID that is meant to signify something like a business unit identifier. We're going to select E712. Finally, we have city, which could signify an office location or a data center location. We'll pick Atlanta. When the server provisions, it will follow the logic we defined in the previous step and dynamically create an OU that combines all of these properties. As we wait for the server to provision, we can assume that the new host name that will be assigned to our now provisioning VM will likely be PATPW08, as that's the next available host name in our sequence. As the server builds, we can see that it's been temporarily placed in our build OU called build. Moments later, when the build is complete, the server has been placed into the OU we programmatically defined. You can see the team ID, org ID, and city represented in the final OU. A quick search of the word development shows the OU as the only one in our Active Directory instance that exists with that name. Next, let's destroy the virtual machine we just created through the service catalog and verify that the entry is removed from Active Directory. Once it's removed, we can also verify that no other OU in our Active Directory instance contains the word development. Because we selected the option to remove the OU in our Active Directory Saab Labs configuration, it was removed when the last server that was a member of that group was destroyed. To sum up what we've discussed, the Saab Labs Microsoft Active Directory module can do all of the following. Create flexible Active Directory configurations that include one or more Microsoft endpoints. It handles simple to complex globally distributed multi-domain, multi-site Microsoft Active Directory environments. It registers and cleans computer accounts with Active Directory. 
It supports placement in a build OU during provisioning in order to facilitate software deployments or configurations that require a less restrictive group policy. It supports moving to a final OU post-provisioning. It supports dynamic creation and removal of OUs. It supports adding the computer account to existing Active Directory security groups. OU and security group designators are dynamic templated fields using the Saab Labs template engine. Saab Labs template engine also allows for static text in combination with dynamic content such as vRealize automation, custom properties, or custom logic. It employs several methods to improve the reliability of registration and cleanup to mitigate failures such as retry logic and post-validation checks. Microsoft endpoints can also be used with the Saab Labs Microsoft IPAM and DNS modules. Multiple versions support for Windows 2008 R2 and above and vRealize automation. For more information on this and all of our other modules, please visit SaabLabs.com.